Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? I'm going to show you guys what's behind me here. So I'm kind of behind the other rack. So hopefully the light will be good enough. I adjusted the, the overhead light over there. It should be good enough. So this is just a little intro. So uh, here's the baits. All right. So hopefully we got enough light to do this. Uh, let me just show you what I got on this side. And that'll be it for everything that I have on the racks. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan, uh, fan of Sean's uh, Stump Thumper baits. So stuff I don't have in boxes, I've got hanging up here craws and beavers so you know check him out on instagram on his website he makes great creature baits great neds different types styles of neds great drop shot baits all sorts of cool stuff from stump thumper and if you're going to the milford show i think sean is going to be at the milford new hampshire show again so you can get some baits from him there too but i love the neds love the drop shots so got what what I don't have in boxes I've got hanging up over here um, this is um, some baits that I got at the Milford show last year fresh baits and they make a really cool like Helgi Hel Helgramite type uh, type Ned bait so it's really cool so I got a couple bags of those I do have a box over there on the other side of their baits that I bought too but that's just some of I got bought some of those extra uh, Helgies uh, here's just some old tubes I don't know if Hooker's Tackle is still in existence. I bought these years ago. These are like, you know, finesse. They're their finesse series tubes, which are very good at times. And I still have them hanging up here. A few of those. So I don't know if that company still exists or not. But that's their tube. So if you like finesse tubes, that's it. Uh, I want to see if I can get the stuff that's down low here. Um, you guys have seen my videos on the Crazy Hick Bait Company. And I will probably have some more after the Milford Show. Some of their spider jigs. This is a really cool bait they make. I know I've shown you guys can check out my crazy hick bait, but that uh, Dex to do with grub is really cool. It has a lot of different uh, uses, trailers, drop shotting, uh, Ned bait. You know, it's just lots of ways you can do it. So that's my some crazy hick stuff there. Uh, let's see. It's a little, a little crowded back here with the box and stuff. Some inline spinners. These are the uh, that Joe Thomas Rooster Tail series, which is really a great bait. Um, these are the ones I've thrown, so they're obviously they're out of the box, and I put a little swivel on the top here, so you don't get line twist. If you don't put this swivel on, you will definitely get line twist. This is really a fun bait to throw. You know, maybe if you're looking for something other than a, a spinner bait, but as far as a rooster tail goes, that's a smallmouth killer right there. I haven't caught any largies on them yet. Just smallies, but that's okay. Uh, these are the ones that are in the boxes still. Some of the Fish the Moment, the Jewel Bait Company uh, football head jig. So you guys can see that. But you guys, I've seen the video of those I've done before. I've got some extra ones here that I haven't put in the box yet. Some different colors. But Jewel makes those. You can check them out. Uh, if you see Johnny from Fish at the Moment on YouTube, he's, that's his signature football head. Uh, a couple assorted grubs. Tightline UV grubs. Uh, for you guys who like throwing, like, preacher jigs, this is something I've tried a lot. I haven't really had a lot of success doing it. But throwing these big, you know, white jigs out, hair jigs, that resemble bait fish. Yeah, just swimming them around and ripping them off the bottom. But I've tried it. I just haven't really done much with it yet. Maybe I just don't live in the right part of the country. But maybe I just need to try try doing it more often. But that's some of those different kinds. That's Jenko, I believe. Yeah, Jenko Fishing. Cumberland Pro Lures. That's their types. Uh, let's see. Well, just go along the line here. Hopefully the light will be good when I see this video. Bounty Hunter Custom Baits. This Versa Worm is a really great finesse bait. Ned rigging, you can drop shot it. I've got a few of those. I have some in a box too, but those are the extra ones I have hanging up. Real Bassin, makes some nice soft plastics. You can find them on Instagram. Some creature baits, some craws, some finesse worm type baits. Uh, let's see, let's see what else I got over here. Uh, Game on baits, you can find them on Instagram too. Make some nice stuff. Got a bunch of their stuff. You can, you guys, you can check out the videos I've made on the Game On Baits. 
some Great Lakes finesse. I did a, a video previously on this. These are some finesse baits, Ned type craws and drop shot type baits. I haven't really thrown yet because I got them over the winter. But I will definitely be throwing them next year. Oh, let's see. Uh, rabbit baits. Got a few of those. I think I might have actually won an Instagram giveaway and got a couple of these. I don't really remember. But they're really cool with that hair in there. That soft plastic with that hair is pretty cool. So this is some random, I don't know where I got these at a show. Did I buy these online from some company? But it's like a craw, flipping craw type thing. And I know this is a little crowded over here, so I hope you guys are seeing this well enough. I don't know if Tough Bait still exists. I bought these at the Suffering Show in New York years ago. Um, if they're still around, they make some really cool craws. So if you see them at the, I know the Suffering Show got canceled once again, so it's probably going to be done forever, but... And as usual, the dogs start to bark the minute I do this. But that's some tough bait craws. Like I said, I don't know if they make those anymore. Uh, Stretchingline.com. Some Neds. I don't remember. I might have won a, a giveaway for these two. I don't remember or just bought them because I like Neds. They have some cool Neds that I bought. Oh, let's see. Bass Assassin. There's some various baits from Bass Assassin hanging here. What else we got? Some Lunker Hunt. Looks like a white craw. Bruiser Baits. Looks like a craw. It's just some random stuff I've hanging up here. Uh, these are some Gambler pre-rigged like swim baits. I think I bought these for my buddies, you know, to bring with my buddies when I was striper fishing with them, you know, when I lived in Jersey. But then I moved, so I haven't used them. But uh, if I ever do it again, if I ever get down there when they're going, I bring, I'll bring these pre-rigged swim baits with me and give them a try. Uh, this is Jim Root made these years ago. This is a really good drop shot bait. These Carolina hookers, the pinks, they call them. I don't know if Jim is still making those. He's got a great book too, if you haven't seen it. But uh, just look him up online and you can see if he still makes these. But it's, I've got a few packs of them. It's a, it's a really a good drop shot bait. Um, one of my favorite worms from back in the day was the Charlie's worm. I got a few. I have box, uh, you know, a box or two of them, but these are just some random ones I have hanging up. Great, you know, eight-inch worm, ribbon tail looks great in the water. Um, the producto worm. Like I said, I've got boxes of these. I think I did a video on these once. I'm not sure if I did. This is a great worm. Really, really, it's a high floater. Just because the way they make it, these are really nice worms. And I don't think these, you know, I'm gonna say they're not popular, but for the people who know, this is a good worm. They got some different sizes. A lot of these are like, you know, black and red and black and blue and purple. Starfire. What's that color there? Blue shad. So, you know, any questions on those, I can do them for you. Over here are some Rains baits. That's the, the Bubbling Ring Shaker, which is a good drop shot bait. That's the four inch size, I believe. Yeah, these are all four inches over here. That's their craw tube which I like. It's a four inch crow tube. Some different colors of that. And that's more of the smaller bub ring shakers. And three and a half and three inch size. I think most of these are three and a half. I know somewhere there was a sale going on. I bought a bunch to try them out, but it's a good drop shot bait. And up here at the top, you guys have seen me do my spider jig video. You probably saw the Paulie's worms. Used to buy these at the outdoor show and suffer They had a booth. It's a nice, uh, nice spider jig. So if you guys saw my spider jig video, you'll probably saw these. And let's see. The Assault brand. I don't know if they still exist. And Chompers, they still exist. They make a nice spider jig too. There's a couple of those. Uh, what do we got? Some various swim baits here. Pre-rigged. Some storms. Some more storms. What's that? I don't even know where I got some of this stuff. Just like a... Chunk tail, whatever. I guess that's a swim bait. I'm not sure. <laughs> don't even know where I got it from. Um, the old Shadowlicious. I'm assuming Strike King still makes those, but I'm not sure. That's a Bass Magic. It's their version. Let's slide these over so you can see what's behind there. More Back Magic. That hollow bellied swim baits. If you guys would like throwing those. River to Sea Rig Walker. Uh, Reaction Strike. There was, I, I got these at a show when you're, you know, your typical. Um, swim bait. That's, uh, you know, that. 
chunky shad they called it got those out they were really good price at an outdoor show once i grabbed a few and looks and some mega strike i've got some of theirs some of their their uh, uh swim baits left over um let's see you guys know i love throwing fluke type baits the bass assassin is another great one i've got boxes of these but this these are just some of the extra ones in the bags all great colors that i like to throw chartreuses chartreuse with some flake in them and this was one it was a random swim bait hanging here <laughs> i believe that's one of sean's <laughs> i'm not sure i think so i think that might be one of sean's thumps stump thumpers right here all rigged up ready to go so you can see he makes awesome stuff I think that's why it's hanging here by the other stump thumpers. And last but not least, I don't know if this company still exists. I bought these years ago. I don't know if I got these at Wacky Worm or another place. Um, there used to be a place in Pennsylvania called Angler's Paradise even way back when. Maybe I bought them there. I don't know if Joe's Bait Company still exists, but they made a nice flute color. And I bought a, you know, a bunch of them back in the day. And uh, that's... Might be the only ones I got. I don't, I don't know if I have any in the box or not. I probably have some in the box. But that's it, guys. That's the back, as we say, of the rack. And now you've seen it all. So I hope the uh, the lighting was okay here. It looks like it's okay, at least in my video. There might be a little, some shadow here and there, but you guys get it. So uh, that's, like I said, you guys have seen everything on that side of the rack. You guys have seen everything over here in between. You guys have seen all this stuff. You've seen everything at the end here. World Fishing Network. And you guys have seen everything in front. So that, my friends, is it. So that is all the baits hanging on the rack. Well, that's pretty much everything. Now I've moved everything around, but actually this has been a good thing to do because it's given me a chance to kind of organize some of this stuff and get everything where it's supposed to go. So I, I haven't done these yet, so I'll get to the boxes um, as we go along. So we'll see. That's soft plastics on this side and over here. Jigs are up there, and this is all hard baits, top water type stuff right here. So I will get to that eventually. So... um. Uh, like I said, any questions on any of those baits I just showed you guys, um, you want any specifics on them, let me know. And I'll, uh, I could do them individually, okay? So I'll see you guys on YouTube, uh, soon on YouTube. Mark out.